The twin study is truly unique in that it has led to an enormous amount of data that will without a doubt be useful in studying the effects of space on humans for years to come. There were three major findings from this study. The first relates to telomeres, or the end caps of chromosomes. In space, Scott's telomeres appeared to lengthen, which is likely due to regular exercise and proper diet. But once he landed back on Earth, within hours his telomeres shortened and returned to baseline length. Telomere length may relate to health and lifespan of a group of cells, which can lead to possible therapies that increase the overall health and well-being. The second major finding showed that his immune system responded normally during spaceflight. Scott administered a flu vaccine in space, and it worked exactly like it did on Earth. This finding allows us to provide vaccines to astronauts to stop illnesses before they start. And finally, the third major finding is the variability in gene expression. This research will help us learn how genes and gene expressions are related to diseases, impairments, and susceptibilities. In flight, we noticed a variability and increase in certain genes being expressed. Once back on Earth, most of his gene expressions returned to baseline. We saw that a small percentage of gene expressions did not return to baseline. This research will help us develop therapies that will acutely address space flight associated conditions. NASA twin study results are accelerating the understanding about the effects space flight has on astronauts traveling further into space and will help improve life here on Earth.